2016 starts off with a bang. The Momotombo volcano in Nicaragua is the first volcano eruption of 2016. A strong explosion occurred on Saturday morning at the volcano covering much of the summit comb with incandescent ejector. The very next day, Guatemala's Fuego volcano spews hot ash 24,000 feet into the Guatemalan sky. The video you are watching at the moment is Guatemala's Fuego volcano from an eruption earlier last month. And not to be outdone, Sopotan volcano in Indonesia is the third eruption of this year. With 15 volcanoes on alert status in Indonesia, with the Colossus, Mount Sinabung, on the highest alert. It's the best possible start to 2016, as 2015 recorded a whopping 281 volcanoes that were showing signs of activity or erupting. The first major quake of 2016 is a magnitude 6.3 along the western Indian Antarctic ridge. And while we're on the subject of earthquakes, 2015 finished the year with a total of 145 major quakes, which is the second lowest total of major quakes in one year since 2002 with 139 and 1999 with a 136. It's safe to say that major quakes are slightly down on the recent yearly average. More crazy weather, it should be around minus 30 degrees Celsius or minus 20 de 22 degrees Fahrenheit but at plus 1 degrees Celsius or plus 39 Fahrenheit, the North Pole was warmer than some major cities in Europe and the US last week. It was described as a disaster. Cyclone Ula with 200 km per hour winds smashed Tonga this week with a direct hit. Southern California Gas Company's Aliso Canyon Gas Leak is declared a state of emergency by California Governor Jerry Brown. It is the source of the largest recorded natural gas leak in California's history, expelling an estimated 110,000 pounds of methane into the atmosphere every hour about a quarter of the state's daily methane gas emissions. Its climate impact will be humongous, said Tim O'Connor, California Director for the Environmental Defense Fund, ADF. In terms of aggregate greenhouse gas emissions, it is far greater than the BP Deepwater Horizon disaster. The company's own documents reveal this disaster was inevitable. A deadly magnitude 6.7 earthquake hit Imphal, India on Monday night with the death toll in the hundreds and that was expected to rise. This video was sent to me by Mike Von D, an old friend. It's a video taken last week of a strange light above Canberra the video was made by Johnson Thompson. The video appears to have been made during a summer storm. This is a warning to us all. A World War III weapon of destruction, highly destructive malware, was used to knock out power to thousands of homes in the Ukraine. It's the first known instance of someone using malware to generate a power outage. EyeSight's report suggests a troubling escalation in malware-controlled conflict 
that has consequences for industrialized nations everywhere. North Korea this week unleash a bucket of sunshine and a warning to the world. The fourth nuclear test carried out by Kim Jong-un. The US are saying the explosion was too small for a H-bomb, but big enough for an atomic, atomic bomb. Sorry. There was a magnitude 5.1 man-made earthquake recorded in the area at the time. The death of more than 100,000 common moors on the west coast of America are being blamed on the El Nino event, which makes my uh, alarm bells ring considering these die-offs have been reported since last April. The scale of the die-off is said to be unprecedented, locals say, and mind-boggling. It has the potential to be the biggest mortality event in Alaska's history and numbers could reach more than 100,000 and the, should, the little birds shouldn't even be in Alaska at this time of the year. Now <clears throat> a look back at the most powerful storms of 2015, a video by NASA. It's a look back at the snowstorms, the tropical storms, the typhoons, hurricanes and floods captured and analysed by the Global Precipitation Measurement GPM mission from around the globe during 2015. Well, <clears throat> we are into 2016. I would like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all next week. Be safe. Bye bye.